Hello, this is Xavier from XDTutorials.com and this is the first in a series of videos concerning kind of the advanced selection options. This particular video we're going to be going over quick masks which are really nice for complicated selections. So I'm going to open up this image of a kid looking at a bunch of dancers here. The quick mask symbol, um, it's super small, I don't know if they do this on purpose or what, but you'll see I'll Point, draw a couple arrows to it here. It's right in the bottom corner here. Uh, it just looks like a little um, square with some dashed lines around it. So the first step here is to make sure that your selection that you have select none. Okay, that's essential. And then we're going to click on our quick mask. Your image turns pink here. Essentially anything that pink is not is not going to be selected. Okay, Anything pink will not become part of the active selection. So from here I'm just going to grab a paintbrush and I'm going to draw in white and I'm just going to select a paintbrush here and increase my paintbrush size and then I'm going to click. You notice as when I'm drawing on white the pink goes away. Okay. If I draw on black the pink comes back. So those are the only really two colors. You can use gray and it'll give you sort of um, a half selection or a partial selection. So it, it works just like um, a layer mask, but it's not quite the same. Um, so gray will kind of let the selection in. But you'll see that I can really quickly eliminate the background here. Again, anything not pink is um, going to become part of my active selection. And then I can zoom in and do my fine detail work. I'm going to first kind of cut away my areas. Try to doing this pretty darn quickly here. It's not going to be perfect. And this is actually how I kind of use it. I just do it real quickly, get most of the background eliminated and then my fine tuning I come in with a black paintbrush and repaint any areas that I may have accidentally gone into. I'm using a mouse and not a not a drawing pad so my accuracy isn't all the greatest sometimes. Whoops. But I can zoom in and do my touch-up work. So we'll cut away while I do this and we'll get something a little closer and perfect. So here's my quick mask all done. You'll notice that the only thing that is pink is the child uh, sitting here. What I do from here again and I, is I click on the quick mask, the toggle. You'll notice that the active selection is now set. And I can do a delete and that's going to delete the background just like that. So again quick mask is awesome. You'll notice that I missed an area right here um, accidentally on the kid. Um, what I can basically do is turn the quick mask back on, select my white paintbrush, and I can get in here again really quickly and fix my mistake that I made. I can even use my fuzzy select tool, see how it highlights that area. I can delete that here. Fairly quickly. Kind of like that. Now if I turn back my quick mask and delete, 
There we go. Removed it there. Again, did it really quickly, but I think you get the point here. So at this point, you know, I can grab a, you know, a different uh, pitcher. Say this landscape, bring it into my image. You know, maybe flip the kid so he's on the other side. And now he's looking at this nice little landscape or whatnot. So that's Quick Mask. Uh, again, very, very useful for complicated selections. You can use any of the selection tools, fuzzy select, select by color, anything like that with Quick Mask. Uh, fairly easy to make uh, big selections if you don't want to paint uh, everything in the border or whatnot. So hope you enjoy. If you like the video, you know, like and subscribe. If you have any uh, suggestions on tutorials that you'd like to see, send me an email at xavier at xdtutorials.com. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.